मैं देव दिस इज मोहम्मद मिसबाउद्दीन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट लॉर्ड्स इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी हैदराबाद सो नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू परफॉर्म द एक्सपेरिमेंट ए डिफ्लेक्शन टेस्ट ऑन ए कैंडी लिवर बीम सो द मेन एम ऑफ द आवर एक्सपेरिमेंट इज टू फाइंड आउट द बेंडिंग स्ट्रेसेज एंड यंग्स मॉडल्स फॉर द गिवन बीम मटेरियल एज द नेम इंडिकेट्स कैंडी लिवर बीम a beam whose one end is fixed and another end is free a beam whose one end is fixed and another end is free now we are applying a load at the free end and so the length of this beam from the fixed support is equal to 350 mm so same observation we are going to measure by using a one year caliper we are seeing that this is a cantilever beam A cantilever beam is a beam whose one end is fixed and another end is free. For performing this experiment, the equipment's needs are one is a dial indicator. Dial indicator is having a two scale, one is a larger scale, and another one is a smaller scale. When the larger scale completes the one complete revolution, what happens? The smaller scale moves to the one division. When the larger scale completes the two revolution, then small pointer will move to the second division. So like this, when the Larger pointer completes the number of revolutions. Same revolution, it can be measured, it can be observed in a small dial indicator. Okay. So next, for performing this experiment, the next equipment is a weight hanger, and we are having a set of weight in case of one kg. So we are applying a load, one kg and two kg. So finally, we are finding the deflection. For the given load, so here a dial indicator is having a plunger. When the load is acting over the beam, what happens? There is a deflection because of the load. When there is a deflection, same because of the deflection. When the deflection is there, what happens? This plunger, when the beam gets the deflection, then what happens? This plunger moves in a downward direction. Same when the plunger moves in a downward direction, what happens? the larger pointer as well as the smaller pointer will complete their revolution so in this case what we are doing before applying a load of 2 kg here the initial reading we are observing zero before applying a load of 2 kg here initial deflection is zero now we are applying a load of 2 kg yeah so first we have placed a 1 kg load and the next one we are placing a another 1 kg load so totally the load we applied over the weight hanger is 2 kg so we can observe the small scale so a small yeah a small pointer is on 2 it means that the larger pointer has completed the two revolution uh, yeah after completing the two revolution the larger pointer is on 18th division it means that this larger pointer completed two revolutions and it is there on 20 it means that it has completed 220 divisions so this larger pointer have moved to 220 divisions so same thing we will measure so here we are taken a weight a load of 2 kg so we are converting in terms of uh, weight okay w is equal to mass into g so load we are taken that is 2 kg multiplying with 9.81 we are getting 19.62 okay so initial deflection we got zero before applying a load of 2 kg our deflection is zero after applying a load we observed the same reading as 2 20 yeah 220 okay 220 we know the least count we know the least count of the given uh, scale is 0.001 so now what we are doing we are multiplying with this division so 0.01 least count we are multiplying with the number of divisions covered by the yeah so here the answer we got 2.2 mm okay so this is a final deflection after applying a load so what is the net deflection net deflection is what final deflection minus of initial deflection final deflection we got 2.2 minus initial deflection means before applying the load we got zero here zero 2.2 minus of zero we got the answer 2.2 mm next so for finding the young's modulus and bending stress we have the formula so bending moment can be calculated by the formula w into l okay the next for finding the bending stress 
The formula is M Y by I. This is the general formula. And the third one is Young's modulus W L cube by 3 into delta I. So we know that observation we taken length of the beam. Here the length from the fixed support to the free end we are taken as 350 mm. And similarly, this is a rectangular beam. So here we observed the thickness, or we can say it is the depth. Depth is given 5 mm. And the width of the given rectangular beam is 50 mm. Okay. The next one is we need y distance up to the neutral axis. We are applying a load on this upper fiber. The distance from upper fiber to the neutral axis. The, the distance from upper fiber to the neutral axis is d by 2. Same thing. Y is equal to we can note down here. Y is equal to d by 2. D the depth is 5 mm by 2, 2.5. Here, the distance up to the neutral axis, it is equal to 5 mm. So, here, our first aim is to calculate the bending moment. Bending moment M is equal to W into L. So, load we got, load we got 19.62. 19.62. It is multiplied with L. Here, the length of the beam means length from fixed support to the free end or the this is the length at which we are applying a load. So this load and the distance we have to take here. So distance is 350 mm. Therefore, M is equal to 6867. Okay. It is in terms of Newton mm because load is in Newton and length is in terms of mm. Okay. Next, after finding the bending movement, Next, our aim is to calculate the bending stress. So, for finding a bending stress, we know the formula M Y by I. This is a general formula. Bending stress, sigma B is equal to bending moment. Just before we got the value of bending moment as 6, 8, 6, 7. Same thing we will write here. 6, 8, 6, 7 into Y. Distance up to the neutral axis. Okay. So, this is what? A neutral axis. This is a phase over which we are applying a load. Here distance up to the neutral axis is 2.5. That is d by 2. So y is 2.5 and area moment of inertia. Here we know i is equal to bd cube by 2l. So here the section on which we are applying a load is a rectangular section. For a rectangular section formula is bd cube by 2l. We, we know width, we know diameter is uh, depth uh, 5 mm. Cube by 12, finally we got 520.83. Same thing we will note down here, 520.83. Therefore, bending stress sigma b is equal to 32.96. So this is bending stress. Bending stress may be in terms of Newton per mm square because load is in Newton and length is in mm. So this is Newton per mm square. So this is a bending stress. So next thing to find is Young's modulus. So the formula for Young's modulus is W L cube by 3 into delta I. Okay. Therefore, E is equal to load we know 2 kg. We have multiplied into Newton 2 into 9.81. So we got 19.62. So same, we will note down here 19.62 into length. Length of the beam is 350 mm. Length of the beam is 350 mm. So L cube is 350 cube. That divided by 3 into delta I. Delta is a net deflection. Net deflection is what? Final deflection minus initial deflection. We got 2.2 into I. I is what? Area moment of inertia. For rectangular section, BD cube by 12 is a formula and we got the value 520.83. 520.83. Therefore, E is equal to 244.76 It is in terms of Newton per mm square. 716.47 So as our aim is concerned our aim is to find out the Young's modulus and our aim is to find out the bending stress. So we got Young's modulus 
एस टू डबल फोर सेवन वन सिक्स एंड बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस एस सिक्सटी टू पॉइंट नाइन सिक्स सो हियर फॉर फर्स्ट हेडिंग अवर लोड इज इन टर्म्स ऑफ न्यूटन नाइनटीन पॉइंट नाइनटीन पॉइंट सिक्स टू इनिशियल डिफ्लेक्शन मीन बिफोर अप्लाइंग लोड वी हैव टेकन एज जीरो फाइनल डिफ्लेक्शन वी हैव टेकन एज That is two twenty divisions. The pointer I have completed multiplied with zero point zero one. We got two point two, two point two mm. So final deflection minus initial deflection. We got two point two, and uh, bending moment here. For this, the formula for finding the bending moment is W into L. This is a cantilever beam. So load is multiplied with perpendicular distance. Here we got the value bending moment as six eight six seven. Six eight six seven. Similarly, bending stress value we got that is thirty two point nine six. And finally, the Young's modulus value we got two double four seven one six. Two double four seven one six point four seven. The Young's modulus for the given B material is. Two double four seven one six point four seven Newton per mm square. Okay. Thank you.